Ask the Ethics Guy with Dr. Bruce Weinstein. Hey, Ethics Guy. Is it ever ethical to be a tightwad? Sometimes being a tightwad is not ethically intelligent, and sometimes it is. Here's an example of each. Holly goes to extreme lengths to avoid spending money. For example, she buys things like scented toiletries, dried fruit, and overstocked books in bulk once a year to give as presents, but she doesn't care whether the recipients would actually like them. Her only concern is saving money any way she can. Polly could buy things that would be welcomed, but she chooses not to. Her choices are hurtful to the people she presumably cares about, and they compromise the responsibility we all have not to damage relationships. Polly isn't a bad person, but her approach to personal finance is not ethically intelligent. Earlier this year, Frida lost her job and isn't able to buy holiday presents for her coworkers, family, and friends. Instead, she makes plates of delicious cookies, volunteers to babysit for her best friend, a single mom, and writes heartfelt letters to valued people in her life. Frida can't spend money on gifts without making her precarious financial situation worse. So instead, she finds ways to honor her relationships that are consistent with the first principle of ethical intelligence, do no harm. Frida's actions show that ethics concerns not just how we treat others, it also concerns how we treat ourselves. Spending money you don't have, or being unwilling to spend money you do have, is simply not ethically intelligent. Keeping this in mind during the holidays and throughout the year will help you honor your financial obligations to the people you care about and to yourself too. If you have a question, send it to asktheethicsguy at gmail.com. See you next time. Dr. Bruce Weinstein is author of Ethical Intelligence, Five Principles for Untangling Your Toughest Problems at Work and Beyond. Now available at your favorite bookseller.